All right, just making a quick video talking about the uh, AC inverters that these power stations have. So this is like for the AC output. Um, just something I kind of see a little bit too much of online. Um, just people casually like, they'll take something like this uh, USB adapter thing and they'll plug it into the inverter, right? And um, you just really don't want to be doing that because the inverters do use some power just powering themselves right so if you have something like this just you know unplug it and just use the usb and then plug it right into the power station right and um i'm going to show you exactly why this might be a common thing that we see and uh and hopefully if if you've been doing this um it'll it'll help you realize why you shouldn't um, use the inverter in a circumstance like that so uh, let's just let's just jump right into it right this is the ecoflow delta mini and uh pretty much all of the ecoflows are like this and um as you can see here i've actually got the ac inverter on you see down there at the bottom it says 60 hertz and it's got a little uh it's got a little picture of uh you can't quite see it but of the uh you know it's the ac icon but the thing you notice is on the output it still says zero watts right so um yeah this is a, a common it's not really an issue it's just the way these some of these uh, power stations are programmed is that um they don't really give you an indication that this thing's actually consuming power now if you look here you'll actually see 23 hours left that does kind of give you a hint at it right because normally if this thing's on and the inverter's off it's maxed out at 99 watts like if you got nothing plugged into it or 99 hours excuse me if you got nothing plugged into it right if it's just you know on so uh it does kind of give you an indication there that um it is using some power but a lot of people they'll just look you know at the output watts and it says zero so they figure you know plug something like this in the inverter why not right and uh just to kind of show you a comparison this is the amp row 300 and uh you know there there are a lot of uh, power stations out here that um do something similar to this um you know it's just kind of uh, hit and miss really with these power stations but i want to go ahead and uh turn this uh, ac inverter on right quick comes on and then there you go right it actually shows you 10 watts right so now you know I mean up front you just know <laughs> you know you're gonna plug something like this into this inverter you're already starting out at 10 watts right so um, that automatically tells you gives you a good indication that that's probably not something you should do right so um, yeah, so just something to be aware of if you've got a power station that that doesn't and the, and the thing is like I said, at least with these EcoFlows, you got you do have some indication there, right, with the the time remaining. There are some units out there that um, you know, they don't even have that time remaining and then they also don't tell you that the inverter is using any power, right? So um, I think that's where a lot of that uh the mistakes come from that people are making with these things and then of course you know you're you're going to drain the battery faster a lot of people are going to start complaining that you know the battery doesn't last and this this could be a reason why right so um yeah just something to be aware of and uh the last little tip is just in general the bigger the inverter so the more watts that it can um output the more watts it's going to consume just being on, right? So with it. So just wanted to make this quick video. Uh, hopefully someone finds that helpful. And yeah, so uh, thanks for watching.